If you watched the machine grooving of an 8x12 duct demonstration, we reminded you to keep the drop-off material, and this is why. Sometimes it is desirable to fabricate a two-piece, or what some call an L-style duct. In this demonstration, we will show you how to fabricate an 8x12 two-piece duct. We will start with those shorter drop-off pieces we had left over from our one-piece duct. To set up the machine, refer again to the tool arrangement decal on the Glassmaster machine. Stain with a one and one-half inch tooling, leave the A tool in the machine. Leave the B tool in the machine also. Take out the C and D tools and set them aside. Slide the E tool over and measure 12 inches from the left side of the B tool. Remember, the E tool will make the shiplap. Take your drop-off board, remembering to place the female end into the machine first and run it through the machine. Take your second piece and do the same. Flex the board and take the insulation pieces out of the groove sections. When you are fabricating two-piece ducts, you will find that making one of the longitudinal seams is easier if you make that seam while the board is in flat form. The key, however, is to re-establish the gap between the panels so that it matches the gap that is made by the grooving machine. This gap will vary by thickness of the board. For inch and a half board, this gap will be about 5 eighths of an inch or about the width of this marking pen that we will use as a gauge. Then flip the boards over so the facing is towards us again. Check the gap groove spacing by lifting the stapling flap and using the marking pen again as the gauge. Use the stapler and tack the stapling flap in place. Apply the tape equally on both sides of the seam. Rub the tape down with a squeegee so that the scrim pattern is visible through the tape. This assures there is a solid adhesive contact with the duct surface. Once you have finished taping the seam, turn the duct over. You will see that you have the same configuration as a standard one-piece duct. Then, finish the closure by the same method as shown with a one-piece duct. Use the cradle, staple, and tape. 